real quick before we start the dribble tutorial y'all been asking me what's that instrumental what's this instrumental 99 percent of my beats come from glow on the beat he's been my producer since i was at 1000 subscribers and i've been using his beats ever since you want to be able to use his beats for profit make sure you email him in the top right corner ask him he'll tell you put a link in the description make sure you email him if you want him to make exclusive beats like the beats that you will be hearing from me in the upcoming videos is some beats that i had him specifically made just for me you can pay him to make exclusive beats as well i've been using his beats literally since i pretty much started youtube and you can see it every every single video in the description you'll see his name don't believe me just go check make sure you put these six on we're not gonna waste no time with this video this is an elite dribble tutorial every drip you know every dribble move you need to know is gonna be in this video we're gonna start off with the hardest ones i'm gonna just put a disclaimer out there fam we are in june bread matter of fact the end of june is about to be july i'm not gonna take it easy upon this tutorial bro. this tutorial is not gonna be your abc one two three tutorial i don't hold on from y'all and i teach y'all exactly how to do it how to use it and that's how y'all man gaming operate so after you watch this video every single body watching this video you're gonna be a dribble don we don't say the lord's name in vain we cut that order. so welcome to the dribble don school first move we're gonna start it off with is the tween spam yes we're not starting this off with no abc one two three we're starting off with the hardest moves that you guys need to know especially at this point in the year bro all right and if you don't know what a tween spam is it's a between the leg spam like that you see you can't between the legs like this no more bro what is this bro all right that done with i'm gonna need y'all to start doing this all right if you have not already this looks so much more cleaner you bro and you can just go fast as you want but the faster you go the more you'll mess up like let me explain it to y'all man some of y'all already know how to do it but if you're a slow learner don't don't be afraid bro y'all my gaming was a slow learner for a long time and there's nothing wrong with slow learning because sometimes you know you have to just you know take your time and make sure you get it on right the first time those who rush things never really get it done right the first time to do a tween spam hold r2 this is gonna be your best friend is r2 without r2 you cannot tween spam or it's gonna give you some dumb stuff like that hold r2 use the right stick you see the right stick right go diagonally down like not diagonally down fully if you go diagonally down fully it's gonna give you a behind the back but you want to go like you want to find the the, the the medium like you want to find the, the right spot to get this animation right here the between the legs it's like diagonally down and horizontal at the same time like right in between once you get that down you already got half the tween spam down bro once you know how to get this animation every time you pretty much got the tween spam down for the most part you can go a little bit more up but if you go completely horizontal it's going to give you a crab so you don't want to get a crab so once you get that down all you're going to do if the ball is in your left hand you're always going to go diagonally down on the right stick while holding arch to the opposite hand and now all you're going to do is use the left stick you see the left stick and go diagonally up to that same direction to the opposite hand and then it's going to give you that move right here you got to do it all at the same time i'm also going to show you guys with a real controller now like i said it's not diagonally down it's like almost horizontal but slightly below it with the right stick hold r2 then go to the opposite hand while going like slightly below horizontal to the opposite hand on the right stick and with the left stick follow it immediately diagonally up that same direction so if the ball is in my right hand i'm holding r2 and i'm using the right stick going diagonally down or slightly horizontal and with the left stick you're going diagonally up to the opposite hand while holding r2 you have to follow it immediately and it's going to give you the tween animation now all you have to do is spam it but start off with the right stick first if you start off with the left stick it's not going to be right so get this animation and once you once you get this animation start smiling because you pretty much already got the tween spam down if you are struggling to find the right direction just go straight across until you get the right animation i don't like going straight across because it makes me do a crab or a momentum sometimes so i try to tell y'all like it's slightly below straight across so it's horizontal once you get that placement down on the right stick you pretty much got the tween spam down it's literally just getting this animation then spamming it pretty much to a good speed that you won't mess up on this animation you can start smiling and I'll, I'll put it up with the actual controller now so you guys can see all you gotta do now is spam it because if you don't spam it you won't get this animation it'll just be like this like this speed it up all right you got you see the controller right here right right stick left stick trigger button right there hold r2 
and remember with the right stick you're going to the opposite hand diagonally down it's in between diagonally down and straight across and it's going to give you that right there you see that like that see that because if you go straight diagonally down like this it's going to give you a behind the back go diagonally down but a little bit more up it's going to give you that move boom right now once you get that move bro all you're going to do is follow it with the left stick so when you go diagonally down you're going to go diagonally up with the left stick and it's going to give you that you see that once you got that move you got it down focus on getting this move this right here that's all you want to focus if you go too down it's going to give you a behind the back like this all right you don't want to do that because then it's going to give you a big behind the back so all you're going to do is get this move get this move work on getting this move right here just look at my controller look where i'm flicking it all right and then once you have that down boom you can spam it i don't mess up on the twin spam just because i'm trying to show you guys on this controller that's how you spam it all right that's as that's as clean as it's gonna get while i'm holding this controller. you guys finally got the twin spam down i'm assuming now that you finally have it down you know all is well bro you're gonna be able to just go crazy like this now just off that one move all right you can throw it in with a lot of moves and you're gonna be straight bro it's just one of those moves that is just it's just clean when you get it down man all right and once you get it perfected just know that it's going to take some time to perfect it man it's going to it's going to require an 85 ball controller or above to do it i will say that it doesn't matter if it's gold playmaking or hall of fame playmaking you're going to need, need an 85 ball controller or above to do it all right now you can do some of these moves i'm about to show you now now the next move is going to be something real simple that y'all have been requesting for the last few days because you guys seen me do it and it's going to be called the ostas now they call this move the asta slide this next move is going to be called the asta slide really easy but it's so effective and it's this right here this little hezzy crab move right there you can throw in the tweens with it as well but it's called the asta slide bro and to do this all you got to do is you got to have normal step back on all right normal step back gives you this little double peak right there but it also gives you this little asta slide and to get the asta slide all you're gonna do is just with the right stick when you're running let go of everything and flick down on the right stick all you're doing is running vertical letting go of everything then flicking down on the right stick to get the asta slide that's it i mean it, it can't get more simple than that bro right run let go of everything flick down on the right stick all right real simple guys you can also flick diagonally up on it all right that's another way you can do it it's flicking diagonally up it'll give you that but to, to be honest the easiest way for me to get it every time is flicking down all right now to set this move up you gotta if you get too close to the three-point line it's not gonna let you do it like it won't let you do it if you try to do it like at a diagonal angle like this you have to be going vertical see that and once you're going vertical then you know you're getting it right now the other step back is this a double peak tap l2 keep running run tap l2 keep running with the left stick run tap l2 keep running with the left stick this is also how you dribble cancel like i said this is an advanced tutorial so to dribble cancel say you're doing a move tap l2 before you get to the destination so get used to tapping l2 boom tap l2 before you come to a complete stop and that's how you dribble cancel so if you want to do a move like speed boost you can dribble cancel out of that or if you just want to left right dribble cancel out of that hold on like this like this if you want to dribble like this you can do it the dribble cancel allows you to but honestly if you bring this to the stage nine times out of ten a good lockdown is gonna clamp that stuff up and ship it back to where you come from dog i'm not gonna lie to you so make sure you, you have more moves in your arsenal than just this right here all right we just knocked out literally what three things in one pretty much bro the asta slide double peak and the dribble cancel like now that you have the asta slide out the way next thing you're gonna know is this little move right here all right it's, it's time it's, look it's time for you to stop dribbling like an old head bro this is a video game bro you want to dribble like an old head bro go to the y go to la fitness and get your old head dribble on bro it's a video game dog so all the old heads out there that don't want to adapt it's a video game brethren if you want hoop like you see michael jordan and larry bird hoop in the past jump off a of 2k 
and jump in a real life and get dropped off in a real life by some of the youngins them all right mr fundamental so do the move hold r2 go straight across through the right stick to the opposite hand bingo get used to doing this simple right crabbing back and forth that's all i'm doing crabbing back and forth crabbing back and forth crabbing back and forth that's it and you can see like the analog stick is kind of like diagonally up kind of but like you see that it's kind of like diagonally up all right it's kind of like diagonally up to be honest and stuff anyways so once you get that down once you crab over all right once you crab over you see me crabbing over flick the right stick get used to doing this right here crab flick crab flick crab flick all right now once you crab and flick hold r2 and run hold r2 use the right stick go kind of diagonally up to crab once you get the crab animation let go of everything flick the right stick back to the hand that you started in then hold r2 and use the left stick while holding r2 and run to the direction that you crab to it's just that simple so if i'm crabbing to the left i'm running to the left once the animation is finished and because i'm running to the left i'm using the right stick and i'm flicking it up diagonally right without holding anything to get the misdirection so crab to the left flick the right stick to the right hand since you started in the right hand then hold r2 and run to the left i mean i just explained it right on cue for you guys and the same thing applies to the opposite hand all right once you get it down on one side do it the same thing to the opposite hand just do the opposite all right so start it off again once you crab and you flick diagonally up hold r2 and run basically to the direction you was crabbing in so if i'm crabbing to the left i'm gonna flick up diagonally right with the right stick then I'm gonna hold R2 and boost to the left because I'm crabbing to the left. So like that. Next move for the bridge and them. Momentum. Both my both my sticks are pretty much going almost diagonally up. Momentum spam is like I don't spam it because to me it's pointless to spam it like this. It's not like the old 2Ks, like some momentums will be faster, but I'm going to slow it down for you guys so you guys can see how I just did all that right there. To momentum span, all you're doing is holding R2 and you're literally flicking the right stick and the left stick simultaneously up diagonally. All right, so if I'm in the, you know, obviously starting in the right hand, my right stick is going to go diagonally up left and my left stick is going to go diagonally up left. It's the easiest move to do, bro. You just got to make sure you're holding R2 and make sure that your ball control is literally at 85. All right. 85 is the requirement to be able to do it to do it back and forth is literally once you go diagonally up to the opposite hand while holding r2 in both sticks all you got to do is hold r2 still and go diagonally up to the opposite hand and go back and forth with it you see the sticks slow down on the screen as you can clearly see on the screen you notice the right stick comes first and the left sticks follows right so if you don't know how to momentum just look at the controller bro i literally slowed it down for you all right don't want to take too much time on this because it's a basic move now let's move into the self momentum move now let me show you how to do the self momentum all right that right there that you just seen me do now there's different ways there's different things you can self momentum off like let me show you like the flick up and the crab let me show you the crab off the tween so to do a self momentum you don't have to hold r2 this is a good way to preserve your stamina self momentum pretty much you got to do a move to activate it so this is the easiest move to do use the right stick and flick it diagonally up to the opposite hand get used to doing this all right when you got that down now all you're gonna do is whatever hand you're going diagonally up to on the right stick with the left stick you're gonna go diagonally up the opposite way like that see that we gotta do it quick follow it immediately right stick first and left stick see that just like this just like this boom boom now spam it get used to that use the right stick flick diagonally up to the opposite hand and with the left stick pull it diagonally up to the hand that you started in all right and it's just that simple look at the controller if you're still confused all right now that you got the self momentum out the way and pretty much it's the same thing like i said whether it's a crab so some things like the crab though you're gonna just let the crab play out because you already you already pretty much flick the crab over with the crab it's a little bit more tricky because there's only certain moves you can trigger it off i started off with a momentum or a tween spam momentum tween spam once i get the tween and you see that I get like this animation right here. 
I let go of everything and pull the left stick diagonally up left. And if the ball is in the opposite hand, you're going to pull it diagonally up right. And that's how you do it out of the crap. Now, this is just it off the tween spam. So you're going to notice once I do a tween spam, like I start the tween spam, I go to the right, I tween back to the left. Then I crab back to the right and let go of everything and pull the left stick diagonally up left. And it'll give me the momentum out of that tween. And you can just keep going like that. Slow it down if you need to. I got it slowed down for you already, but big up on the self and let's move forward. This pullback right here is the easiest thing. I'm not even gonna take 30 seconds on it. Flick the right stick up and flick the left stick down. It's gonna give you this. Flick the right stick up and flick the left stick straight down and it'll give you this move. Next move is going to be something you can do out of it is this little glitchy behind the back right here. All right. To have that, you got to have Pippin behind the back on, but you can do it with any behind the back, but the Pippin just looks the best. Once you go down like that with, you know, doing a snatch back. All right. Once you do that, you're going to want to hold R2 just briefly until you get this animation right there. Hold R2 briefly while going diagonally up to your right hand so like whatever hand you're doing it in you're gonna have to go diagonally up on the left stick like that and it's gonna give you that little between the legs so since i'm doing it in the right hand i'm going diagonally up right while holding r2 briefly and it's gonna give me that right there that little animation right here this little animation let me show you this little animation get used to getting this and out of the animation you just flick down while holding the left stick up all right and holding the right arm um, R2 so you can get the behind the back. All right. When you do the pullback, use the left stick, go diagonally up for a brief second while holding R2 and they give you that between the legs. Hold R2 so you can get the behind the back and then let go of R2 once you get the animation. And you can, you don't have to um do that. Like you can do moves out of it. Like you can do the Asta slide out of it. Like I just taught you, but it just looks the best when you get this right here. Now, when you get that, you can hit a basic one spin off of it by just rotating the, the, um, the right stick whatever direction the ball is in so if the ball is in my left hand i'm going counterclockwise if it's in my right hand i'm going clockwise right so let me show you clockwise boom to get the basic one and then boom counterclockwise to get that one and you can also do a behind the back off it by just waiting till the ball gets to your hand and then do it behind them. this move right here is kind of nice with durant real simple i already taught you guys how to do it so all you got to do is do it behind the back. All right, get used to R2 going diagonally down to the opposite hand. Straight, like, you got to go really diagonally down, though, to get this animation. Once you get this animation, all you're going to do is with the left stick, if I'm going diagonally down to the left, since the ball is in my right hand, with the right stick. So since it's in my right hand, I'm going diagonally down left. With the left stick, I'm going diagonally down right. But I got to immediately follow it as soon as I get the animation. Pretty much when you get a behind the back animation, use a left stick and literally go diagonally down to the opposite side. If I'm going diagonally down left with the right stick, I'm going diagonally down right with the left stick. Rinse and repeat to the opposite side and you can literally just spam this move and do unlimited combos out of it. Right? Because if you take too long, it's going to give you a behind the back. So you got to cancel it. You're pretty much canceling the behind the back by going basically to the opposite hand that you started in with the left stick so whatever hand you started in started to move in you got to use the left stick and go back to it that's how you cancel it. it's pretty much like a behind the back cancel i call it like a glitchy side step so if i'm starting in the left hand and i'm behind the back to the right i'm going to flick the the left stick diagonally down to the left to cancel it all right and it's going to give me that animation right there same thing for the this version of it all right all you're doing is instead of going diagonally down you're going straight across with both ways all right and that's how you get that move right there straight across both ways and to get the between the leg one you're pretty much doing the between the legs for the tween but going straight across with the left stick while doing that all right so whatever hand you start in is is the hand you're going to flick the left stick to i don't think it gets more simpler than that all right now next move is you already know the snatch back but you know how to do a, you need to know how to do the misdirection because the misdirection is is key to a lot of things bro a lot of combos all right so misdirection is literally flicking the right stick to the opposite ball hand diagonally up like this get used to doing this once again all right once you got that down you're gonna hold r2 and and literally use the left stick go diagonally up to the hand that you started in so since i'm starting in the right hand 
my left stick is gonna die go, go it's gonna go diagonally up left what nah bro so since i'm starting in the right hand my left stick is gonna go diagonally up right but first i gotta trick the defender to make, make make them think i'm going left by going diagonally up left with the right stick and then boost to the right simple as that right so boom like that trick the defender then hold r2 and boost to the hand that you started in so i'm starting in the left hand i'm tricking the defender making it think i'm going right by going diagonally up right on the right stick then i'm boosting to the left to to make them think i'm going right i gotta go back to the left and that's how you get that move right there here it is in slow mo it's literally just flicking it one direction and boosting back the other direction once you get that move you're doing it right. so now that you have that out the way the isaiah thomas combo r2 flick up on the right stick r2 flick up on the right stick r2 flick up on the right stick now to cancel you got to be quick all right to cancel you got to be quick it's a little bit more advanced all right so let me show you guys hold r2 flick up with the right stick and as soon as you get the animation flick up with the right um right stick diagonally up left since you're in the balls in your left hand then use the right stick and flick up diagonally right and just give yourself momentum pretty much what i'm doing is this with the move i'm tricking you know tricking the move all right since i'm starting in the left hand see what i'm saying if i'm doing it in the right hand i got to do it the opposite see that you're literally canceling the the combo and doing a self momentum out of it so once you get it started you got to do it quick man you do r2 flick up once you see the move actually start doing it you're gonna have to do the self momentum for whatever hand it's in so i start the combo you're gonna see that it's gonna do a little between the legs and immediately i did the self momentum because it's in the right hand i literally went diagonally up left on the right stick and diagonally up right on the right stick and that's how you get it pretty much if you want to you know slow it down again slow it down but it's pretty easy that's a good little move right there not gonna lie to y'all man so yeah make sure you guys pay attention to that bro because i'm not gonna lie that's a crucial move hold r2 and hold diagonally down to the opposite hand but you got to hold it for just a little bit or it's going to make you shoot it all right and if you shoot if you do it too far back court it's not going to give you the animation so this is as far as i would do it right here bingo bingo then i'll set up a combo snatch back snatch back it's a good move like this is a move that we've all done in old 2ks like literally almost up until 2k21 you were able to do this in every single 2k all right so yeah double crab crab over then crab to the same hand pretty much all you're doing is crab into the same hand all right crab into the same hand so crab 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 and you can boost out of this crab crab and you can do a misdirection out of this crab crab you can do a self momentum out of it with a snatch back see once you know how to do the move it's literally gonna be up to you to start comboing with it and this is where you just gotta just be, relax and be yourself bro and don't get too discouraged about nothing like it's gonna take some time we don't all just jump out the gate dribbling like this bro why you think it takes so long for us to you know you gotta take time and a lot of us like myself don't have time to learn this stuff but when we actually put the time in, we can learn this stuff easily so don't be discouraged you actually have to spend some time in the mic course to learn some of these combos and figure out some combos for yourself to, you know for you yourself to do because me i got combos that i don't made up myself like i'm not saying i made the move up but the way i use it is like i didn't watch nobody to learn how to use them the way i'm using them it's just hey a lot of time i could caution somebody and just take their move but like the way i use them is like the way i want to use them like i'm in the mic court you know sometimes and i'm trying to figure out the way i can use them to my abilities to do a step back hold r2 and flick down on the right stick that's how you do that all right you can't spam it like in the past two k's but if you want to keep it going do a snatch back then do it again snatch back then do it again snatch back and do it. let's show you guys how to do the steady slide real quick use the right stick flick up diagonally to the opposite hand and hold r2 and then use the left stick and pull it diagonally down to the hand that you're going to like that it's a good move to do right here man I really appreciate it if you guys smack that like button go check out my boy glow man really sick on the beats them hit that like button for your boy man this is almost a 30 minute tutorial bro 
as y'all requested we've been daily uploading we do everything by ourselves when it comes to editing the video editing the thumbnails and making the video in itself anyways big up on the self big up on the minds we can't do nothing not, uh, do you want to don't know the thing already y'all man gone